Today, Hope College communicologists are pondering the importance of communication skills in everyday life. These two scientists have decided to conduct a case study in which they observe a day in the life of little Susie to determine how her current communication skills impact her life. Here comes the main body of students. But wait, where's Susie? Oh, there she is. Oh no, looks like little Susie is late for class. Whoa, Susie's being a little invasive of personal space. It's obviously making everyone else a bit uncomfortable. Susie's current actions are giving off the impression that she's a lazy and apathetic student. Even though Susie isn't meaning to do that, communication is inevitable. She is not intentionally sending a message, but the teacher is interpreting her nonverbal codes negatively. Susie clearly doesn't realize the negative message that her actions are sending. An important lesson in communication is that it is irreversible. Even though Susie is apologizing, the teacher will still remember her previous actions. The scientists have been diligently taking notes all day and are ready to share their findings with Susie. The first lesson we share with Susie is that communication is inevitable. Coming in late and sleeping in class and using adapters like looking at her watch or tapping her pencil sends messages of impatience and disinterest. Although we may not intend it to, the communication process is unavoidable in everyday interactions. Having awareness of this lesson, Susie can improve her self-monitoring skills and be aware of possible interpretations of her actions. The second lesson we share with Susie is that communication is irreversible. Even with an apology, actions cannot be undone, taken back, or forgotten. The final piece of advice we have for Susie is to be conscious of her nonverbal codes because communication does not consist only of spoken or written words. In addition to body movements, nonverbal codes also include the use of time and space. By being late to class, Susie misused her time and seemed disrespectful. By invading another student's boundaries, she showed a lack of knowledge concerning proxemics or the use of space. In conclusion to our case study on Little Susie, we have recognized the value of having good communication skills and recommend Susie take a Communication 101 class to further her knowledge and become a more effective communicator.
The second lesson we share with Susie is that communication is irreversible. Even with an apology, actions cannot be undone, taken back, or forgotten. 